Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 321. It's a hard level problem. Uh, so the problem name is count sub arrays with median k. Okay, so the problem statement says that you are given an array nums of size n consisting of distinct integers from 1 to n and a positive integer k. So return the number of non-empty sub arrays in nums that have a median equals to k. Okay. Uh, there are some points to note the media of median of an array is the middle element after sorting the array in ascending order now if the array is of even length the median is the left middle element right like for example in this one if you sort it you get one two three and four so there are two middle elements pick the left one so answer is two and for this one you sort it so it becomes one three four five and eight so the number of elements is odd you just pick the middle one so four and a sub array is a contiguous part of the array right so the problem says that you have an array and you have n distinct integers from one to n simple right so or i can say you are given a permutation of the first n numbers right now you are also given an integer k so we need to find all the non-empty sub arrays right or uh, which have a median equals to k and we know what is a median right so let's see for this one so this is uh three two one four and five so in this case you can see uh what are the sub arrays so and you want the median to be four so obviously if you pick this one then uh, that is a valid sub array right what are the other sub arrays if you pick these three so one four and five again the median is four so we get another sub array and what about the third one you can pick four and five so you can see the length is even so you pick the left one and hence you get four right so total three sub arrays what about this one you have two three and one and you want a median of three the only possibility is pick this one right so answer is one uh so yeah the code is pretty small for this case uh let me just show you some some intuition as to uh how we can approach this problem right so just a second let me just erase it and let me just pull out the pen right so just just see here we have n distinct integers right n distinct integers now for an array suppose this is an array and this is the middle element after you sort it right let's consider for odd length okay for odd length so if this is this is the middle element so here and here you will have even an even number of elements right even number of elements so the number of elements smaller than k if k is my median should be equal to the number of elements greater than k for odd length of sub array right so they both should be equal this is the first case what about the second case the second case is suppose this is your sub array now you want to check whether it's a valid sub array or not so what do you do suppose this is first x elements this is next x element total total length of the sub array is that i'm considering is 2x okay now we'll pick the left element these are the two middle elements which one the x element and x plus 1th element right so which one you'll pick you'll pick x so in this case both were equal in this case the number of elements is smaller than my median right suppose the count of those is um, a and the count of this is b so here a plus 1 equals to b why because you have x minus 1 elements as a small okay and x elements right from x plus 1 to this 2x x elements as large so you can see you have uh, one element more which is larger as compared to the number of small elements right so these are the two things that we need to consider this is for odd length and this is for even length this is the first observation now what is the second thing second thing is we have n distinct integers right so simply what we can do is we can we can uh so don't you think this problem is sort of similar to um when we we want to find what are the sub arrays which have this particular sum right which have this particular sum that that can be solved using prefix sum right uh, that is the basic requirement for this problem right you some awareness about the prefix sum so what do you do in that case suppose this is my array okay and i want to find a sub array having sum equals to k so suppose this is a sub array okay so what you do you keep on calculating the prefix sum so suppose the total sum till here is x right right so if you are able to find 
प्रीफिक्स एरे सम इज एक्स माइनस के सपोज दिस इज द एरे सो इफ दिस इज के दिस हैज टू बी एक्स माइनस के राइट देन ओनली द टोटल सम विल बिकम एक्स राइट बेसिक स्टफ सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट प्रीफिक्स सम राइट सो इन दिस केस वॉट वी कैन डू वॉट एवर नंबर्स आर गिवन लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई इफ आई जस्ट पिक दी आई वुड से द एग्जाम्पल गिवन इन दी प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट आई कैन डू आई हैव थ्री टू वन फोर एंड फाइव ओके सो इन शॉर्ट इन दिस केस वॉट वी कैन डू इज इफ नंबर इफ माई करेंट नंबर इफ नंबर ऑफ आई इज लेस देन के ओके कंसिडर इट टू बी माइनस वन और नंबर ऑफ आई इज ग्रेटर देन के कंसिडर इट टू बी प्लस वन टू टू बेसिकली डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन दैम राइट सो इफ वी डू दिस सो वट विल हैपन दिस केस इज नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल एंड नंबर ऑफ लार्जर एलिमेंट शुड बी इक्वल सो दैट मीन्स वेन एवर माई सम वेन एवर माई सम ऑफ अ सब एरे बिकम्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विच आर लेस देन के एंड द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विच आर लार्जर देन के इज इक्वल and that is a valid sub array for me obviously taking in, in into consideration that k is present there right obviously k is present there because there could be a possibility that my k is 4 okay but my sub array is 1 2 5 and 6 so here also sum will be zero but actually k is not here so for that particular median uh, to, so basically to get a median you you have you need to have that element in the array right simple stuff so this is one of the logic so first observation was this second was prefix sum third one is just see whether you have this array or not right so for odd we check this condition that sum is zero and for even what we will do simple stuff what we can do is so suppose your running sum is sum right so you check for sum minus 1 right because this is the relation this is the relation right uh, this is the relation that you have and you uh, you you basically want you basically want that the number of small elements the number of small elements should be one less than the number of large elements okay basic stuff so for this what you do you 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 check for this condition now i'll explain it better when i show you the code as well right so this is the code this is a map that i have taken and this will contain the prefix sum right map dot put 0 of 1 this is an edge case that you all that you always do because uh, your map is initialized by this that uh, okay i have a sub array whose sum is equals to 0 okay answer equals to 0 initialized variable and sum equals to 0 boolean found equals to false this is basically uh, to to keep a track that whether i have found the median element or not because after i found it then only i'll start considering the sub arrays otherwise i'll not be considering it right simple so start traversing it what do you do if your number is less than k so do minus minus sum right simple if your number is greater than k do plus plus sum or if your number is equals to median then you do found equals to true so these are the three conditions to calculate the prefix sum and to uh, tell whether i have found the element or not now once you have found it just see i have found it what i'll do now i'll see whether i am able to form a sub array or not so this is for odd this is for even what is for odd odd says whatever is uh, so odd says that uh, whatever you have if if you have the same sum right if you have the same sum present then return me the count of those sub arrays right simple stuff because suppose the sum uh, for me till here is 5 right so till here So if I have another sub array whose sum is five, for example, this. So that means in this sub array, in this sub array, I have k, and I have the number of elements greater than and uh, smaller than k uh, having frequency equal. Simple. So you do this. What about even? So for even, what you'll do? Suppose your sum till here is five. This is your array. Your sum till here is five. Now it's a uh, it's it's a uh, it's it's a prefix sum, right? Now. Uh, if if your sum is this, so you need to find you need to find that if this is the diff, then uh, do I have a sub array which has five minus one that is four, right? Do I have this present here? So if this is four, if this is four, so just see in this I have k included, right? I have k included, and 
द नंबर ऑफ स्मॉल एलिमेंट्स एंड नंबर ऑफ लार्ज एलिमेंट्स विल हैव अ डिफ ऑफ वन सिंपल स्टफ राइट वट एवर वी सॉ एंड वाई वी डू वी नीड दैट डिफरेंस बिकॉज अगेन इफ दिस इज एक्स दिस इज एक्स प्लस वन सो आई पिक द फर्स्ट वन राइट सो दिस इज वॉट यू डू और एल्स इफ इफ नॉट फाउंड इट देन यू कीप ऑन अपडेटिंग योर मैप यू कीप ऑन अपडेटिंग योर मैप सो यू विल बी डूइंग दिस सो सम मैप डॉट गेट ऑफ डिफॉल्ट सम जीरो सिंपल स्टफ सो इफ दैट इज प्रेजेंट अपडेटेड काउंट और जस्ट पोर्ट इट इन योर मैप राइट सो या दिस इज वॉट वी डू एंड फाइनली वी रिटर्न आर आंसर सो there were a, there were three or four observations needed in this problem and once you are done with it the code is very simple to do right and um, nothing much fancier is needed here right so yeah i i i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries do let me know i'll i'll i'll, I'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye